Okay, we're underneath my 2005 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. It's a 263 case. It's the same for 261 case for Duramaxes. We're doing is uh, we're gonna fix the pump rub problem. We're actually just gonna change the rear case half, which unbolt here and there. But first, we gotta pull the transfer case out of the truck because there's C clips to get to. It's really a pain in the ass, but. This had no fluid in it. I just put two quarts in it uh, last week because I just bought the truck. But we're in, it's just leaking out of that hole when it's on and running. And we can't have that. So first thing we're going to do is uh, put the truck in. We'll crack two bolts that we can on the drive shaft. They're 11 millimeters. What we're going to do is we're going to mark it on the back side. So like say this is the the diff we're gonna mark this in the drive shaft so it goes back together the same way but back there um we did on the front drive shaft pull them both out so we're gonna crack her loose back there put the truck in neutral turn it over put it in park again crack the other two loose put it in neutral you want the truck to be in neutral when you pop the drive shaft out otherwise i'll shoot at you ask me how i know uh pull the drive shafts out we're going to drain the fluid out of here, or what's left of it anyways. And then we're going to... I already unplugged the speed sensor. There's probably two more plugs up at the top, I think. If I remember right, I've done this once before. Um, I got the truck jacked up. Um, but this one, I did a 261 case before on my Duramax, but this one's a gas truck. And it's got the push button. But I think I'm going to have to take out this transmission mount to get to the two bottom bolts because I don't see a way to get to them like on the other truck I just don't see it happening so I'll probably be dropping the cross either hopefully I don't have to drop the cross or just pull the mount out maybe stick a jack under the, the transmission or something just push it up a little bit but if you want to change your case and you're not comfortable pulling the transfer case out then you should not be doing this this is uh if you're wondering how long your transfer case will last with pump rub or pump knock whatever you want to call it i put two quarts of fluid in less than a week ago all right so i got the case out um i took these are 15 millimeters i took them all out and on the last truck the, i guess it was a my last truck was a Duramax with a ZF6 manual transmission. And I guess it, um, the cross member was placed a little bit more forward. And I was able to pull the transfer case out without dropping the cr training cross member. But that wasn't the case with this truck. I had to drop the cross member. A little bit more work, but it's alright. Um, yeah, once you pull the drive shafts out, drain the fluid. So those six bolts. And then... This unplugs, you gotta pull, slide a black, or I mean a gray uh, lock tab out of there, and then stick a screwdriver in there and flip the inside of this up, and then pop com comes right out. Um, the vehicle speed sensor, and then I just pulled this plug out, and then pulled this gasket off. I have a new gasket, I also have a new seal for in here. When I did pull the transfer case out, some fluid did come out. So, I don't know if it's leaking past this or the transmission seal, but it wasn't much. So, I'm going to replace both seals. I have them both. And then, I'm going to take all these bolts out of here and just zip them out. And then, I'll show you the next step. What you do, there's a C-clip, sir clip I don't know what you want to call it, in here. And I'll show you how you pop that. But, I also have a new seal for this. It's a new case half. We've just got to swap over my plugs. And then when you go to fill this, I'll tell you now before I forget. It takes two quarts when you fill it from here. Supposedly the new GM preferred method to fill this would be to fill it through the speed sensor hole. We fill two quarts through here, close this off, and then you add a third quart to, through the speed sensor hole. So I'm going to pop these off and then I'll show you where I'm at. Okay, got all the bolts out. If you don't have one of these, I recommend it. It make life a lot easier for a lot of projects. It's just just uh, put the bolts back in 
where they go. So then, I don't know if they're longer or shorter, but it just makes everything easier if they are longer and shorter. And then you get all the brackets that go in the same place and everything like that, so I know that one goes there. My, just checked, my seal that I got is correct. Sometimes these seals are always fucking wrong for some reason for me. Um, same thing with these gaskets, too. If I line it up, all the bolt holes look like they line up. I've always have them and they're like fucking, I just gotta like drill them or take a razor blade and oval them out a little bit because they're always fucking wrong. I don't know why. Uh, and then I didn't get a chance to check this seal yet, but I think it'll be right. It looks about the right size. So what I'm going to do now is get a pry bar and pry the two case halves apart. And then once it comes apart, I'm going to take two screwdrivers and pry apart that. And then this shaft is connected to that where that bearing is and it should just drop down and the ring will go up and just stay there inside the case and then you should just be able to pull up the whole case uh, I almost had it or I had one side rather alright we got our part that snap ring that I was screwing with sits in here and this bearing. I'm gonna check that bearing, make sure it's good. A little bit of prying and the case popped off. Uh, where's my flashlight? That is the snap ring. We gotta pull that out and put it inside the other case. Um, there's the hole. I should be inside maybe. There we go. See it. Not supposed to be a window there. I'm gonna take a razor blade and maybe a whiz wheel, clean up this uh, flange so the two cases stick together. And here's your filter for the pump. Mine's just plugged full of shit. So I'm gonna maybe pull this out, clean up the inside. There's some bits and pieces. I cleaned out the filter in here. Uh, magnet, I'm just gonna shove it back in there, and then I noticed that this pump tube was out, so I put a new o ring on there and I shoved it in there, and it made like a, a pop sound. And I knew it was in there, it's now it's nice and nice and tight. I don't know why it was out, but now it is back in there. Okay, you don't need this if you get a aluminum rear case. A new aluminum rear case. Um, the original cases are made out of mag magnesium, which is way softer than aluminum. And uh, they say that you don't need it. And I did it on my last truck, and I did over 10,000 miles on it and before I sold it. And it was perfectly fine. But since this is a new case half and it's magnesium, I decided to buy this ring. And you can get them on eBay. They're like 25 bucks. It's not the actual pump rub kit actual pump rub kits like 80 bucks but this is just as easy if not better in my opinion cheaper is always better but this just slides in there like that you just it only go in one way and i'm probably just gonna glue it in there just a little bit so it stays in there or maybe i'll use uh like assembly oil or vaseline or something like that just so it sticks in there when i put the case half back on before I put that in, I gotta put the snap ring back in. It's just this is the new one. And since I did this a couple times already, I ordered the first case half wrong, put it together, took it back apart, and then put the old case back on again. So this ring is a little bit screwed up, as you can see. So I'm gonna use the new one. I had to order this whole kit off the eBay. I put it in this bag, but there's all the snap rings for the 263, 61 cases. So now I have extras if I ever have to deal with this again. So I'm gonna put the new ring in there, then glue that in there. And then this is ready for assembly. Uh, some black RTV. 
and then just put it back together and I'll show you the next steps. And then next what you want to do is you want to turn the case 100% or 180 so it's standing on its end like this. And I'll show you what you need to do. Um, this shaft can't touch the table so I have it suspended with a roll of duct tape. It works perfect for this. So this is supporting the case and the shaft could fall down into the tube. And then I just have it just propped up here so it sits. And then this shaft falls down, and then you just have to get that snap ring back in that groove. So the snap ring will sit underneath it, right in here, and then you just got to pick it up over into the this little keeper area, and then you could just turn it, turn the shaft over, wiggle it. What you got to do until it's in there 100%, because this snap ring sometimes will just get on the front corners and then it won't see on the back and then you just got to wiggle it around but the weight of the case in the shaft drops and that's what helps put the snap ring in it has to be this way so now a little tip so I'm taking two screwdrivers you want to pick apart the two ends of the snap ring and if the if this bearing doesn't want to seem to drop you can go in through the speed sensor hole with the screwdriver and very lightly just push down on it just so you give it a method like that just and you want to push down on it so I was pushing down on that while I pushed up on the one side of the snap ring and the whole thing dropped and then the clip locked that side in so then I took another screw this screwdriver and just picked that side up and this side popped inside that bearing and now it's on there nice and tight. So that's what you need to do. So that's together. This kit I ordered came with a new plug. You can reuse your old one or reuse this one or use the new one. But uh, you wanna let that RTV dry up, put the plugs in for the transfer case. I'll show you. 24 hours, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna have to do this again. Um, and uh, throw it back in. My problem was this lower case half. I had to reuse mine. The case, I did put it together, put it back in the truck. I had a, this is a gas truck. I had the case half for a, for a diesel, which is the 261-263 case half. But there's an XHD for diesel, and then HD is just for the 4L80E, which is behind a gas truck. So there is a difference. This shaft is about a quarter inch wider, so I could not get a seal to work. Um, I couldn't even use a Duramax yoke on my drive shaft because the splines are, these splines here are different. So this case will be coming out again next week once I get the proper case half. I did uh, GB weld it for the time being. Should get me through at least the week to the weekend. Now I'm going to have to do this again for the third time. I had put the whole case back in the truck and then noticed my problem. It's back out. Did it again. So this is where I left off. I'm going to show you again. I put a new seal here, new seal here. So that'll be fine when I pull it out again, get a new case. And it's the exact same thing I showed you. Just that this case will be shiny, new, and it'll be aluminum instead of magnesium. Which GM thought was a good idea and that's it you don't have to get a pump rub kit um, you could if you want to but this took a couple years for it to wear out with the magnesium case the aluminum be even more years than that I, I bet you that aluminum case will outlast this truck the truck's got 200,000 miles on it so by the time this new aluminum case that I get wears out the truck will probably be junk so that is 
the pump rub fix. You don't have to waste your money on a kit. I mean, you could if you want to, but I mean, maybe it'll give you a peace of mind, but I don't care for it. This worked fine on my last truck, which I had the XD case because that was a Duramax, but you live and you learn. I guess I'll maybe make an update video on it coming out again, but now all I have to do is put down, throw it back in the truck, bolt it down, throw the cross member back in, drive shafts, uh, plug it in there, and there's another plug on the harness that I unplugged to get out of the way, the vehicle speed sensor will go in. Uh, Alright, put this plug in there, uh, I got the drain plug in there, I got the fill right here, I got Teflon taped, uh, I Teflon tape them, you don't have to, but I do it when I know that everything's correct and it's not going to come back apart or drain for a long time. So, you can see, I got this seal in here, once this tra transfer case goes back in, I'm going to put it back in tomorrow, um, fill two, two quarts through there, put the fill plug in, third quart's going to go in through the speed sensor hole, and that's taken care of. Um, I got a new seal on the front here. I picked that out with the screwdriver. And, and then it wouldn't come out the rest of the way, so then I used my seal puller. That came out, popped the new one in. Uh, just seated it in there at a piece of pipe that was similar diameter. You use a socket, just pop it in there. Um, new gasket there. And this is ready to go back in. But I got to change out the transmission seal and I don't have that before this goes back in.